I found this uh, shower insert behind the uh, box, truck box. I think they were going to put it in the cabin. And I also was going to put it in the cabin, but it won't fit through the doors. So I'm thinking I'll just put it outside here for now and have an outdoor shower. Maybe over by that stand. Because it's got a yeah, stand there, I could put a tank up top. In fact, there is a tank. And, uh, yeah, just for now. And then uh, build it in, maybe build it a whole separate a little building for like a summer shower. And then get a smaller one that'll fit through my door. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. Okay, first thing I got to do here is uh, level that stand. It's not quite level. And then get the tank up top. Might have to run to town and get some hose. And a screen, because that bottom of the tank is, uh, is wide open. She's wide open. Yeah. And then I'll get that up top. 12 volt transfer pump of some sort. Pump up, I don't need a lot for a shower, but uh, put up, uh, whatever, 20 gallons or something, 10 gallons, five gallons. And then the sun, the beautiful sun, will also heat the tank and have a shower for now. Of course, till it gets too cold. Okay, game on. Okay. Got her level, just add some two by six, and got the tank up there, looking good. Now I could just put a shower head there and stand on a, on a crate or something, or a pallet. I have the shower uh, frame or insert, so I might as well use it, right? And yeah, I might need some more hose, but she's coming along. Gotta take her easy when you're home studying alone. I don't want to break my neck too soon. So if you know any good good women in Alberta, and there might be a few in Alberta, eh, that are interested in homesteading, you might be able to partner up, as they say. Okay, I cleared a little path here. Just a nice walk area. Now the plan is I'm going to take these cross wires out. They do support it, but I'm just, I'll just put more boards around the perimeter. Because eventually I'll close the whole thing in. Not completely. Maybe on three sides. It's nice to look out into nature when you're uh, showering. Carry on. Okay, okay. Now i got to build a frame around the bottom here. Thinking uh, I got some old two by fours, put two together. Four by fours would have been nice, but I don't seem to have any around here. So uh, two by fours together makes pretty close to a four by four. We'll frame around there and maybe come out eight inches or so, so I can go across with a support. And that'll sit on and that'll drain right into the ground to a little pit I'm digging. Easy peasy lemon squeezy.
Okay, we got the base built. I'm not building a piano, so it's good enough. Now to get this big biatch over to location. What's life without a challenge? Okay, well, rather than fighting with it too much, I don't want to break it. You see, uh, I evened out the legs over here. And still doesn't make it close, but no cigar. So I'm just going to take uh, bolts out there, pull that leg out. Hopefully it doesn't fall down on me. Get it in, bolt it back together. C'est la vie. This is turning into quite the project. <sighs> lordy, lordy, I'm almost 40. Okay, I thought I'd get smart and uh, just take the board off the bottom, you see, and it's bigger uh, spacing. So sure enough, it goes in, but uh, now it's too freaking tall. <sighs> so I'm gonna take it out and uh, dig her down. Dig her down six inches or so, which might be a blessing in disguise. I think I put some bricks around it someday. Okay, carry on. There's more than one way to skin a cat, even though it's looked down upon nowadays. shower time okay got her in just got to do some plumbing but basically I'll clear the path here a little better come around and ta-la shower time Facing out into the bush. Nice. Yeah, okay, it's got to level it out a bit. Put some boards back on. Plumbing. I might get a shower in today yet. Okay, progressing pretty well. Starting to put the plumbing in. And get supports across so it's not going to move and it's level. We'll put this baby across here to screw onto. And we'll screw on to here and then get the rest of the plumbing in, shower head and whatnot. It's been about uh, 
four days since I had a shower, so hey, it's about time. Okay, got the plumbing hooked up, but uh, we'll see if it's gonna work. Down here, shower head, shower, uh, a little twisted, but straighten that out. So I gotta run and get a furnace, a little propane furnace for the cabin. When I get back, I'll sacrifice some uh, drinking water, see if it's gonna be enough head pressure to go down and then back up to where the shower head is. I hope it works. If not, sponge bath again. A little bit of rain. Got my little furnace for the cabin. Maybe this rain will fill up my uh, shower barrel. Save me some water. When you're off grid, every drop counts. Now, as long as I don't run into a tornado, it'll be good. Well, now there's something wrong with the shower head itself, but I don't care. I'm going to get a drip shower one way or the other. Not too good. But good enough for me. Been too long. Okay, take this off. Take that off. Ah, that's cold. It's a cold rainwater shower. Okay. You can take away my utilities, but you can't take away my freedom. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you got anything out of it. I don't know if you did or not. But uh, once I get this fixed up properly, I'll do a recap video. Till next time, never stop dreaming the dream. Okay, update on the shower situation. I decided just to make myself a bucket shower for now. I'm still repurposing some parts of the other shower. Shower head down. Got attached to this pipe. I had to heat the pipe up. Ram a nipple in. And uh, all glued up, clamped up. Ball valve on off for my water. And I got this uh, fitting. I think it was at Home Hardware. And the bucket Home Hardware screws in. This pipe Home Hardware just screws in. And there we go, two and a half gallons, I believe it is. Heated up on the stove or half and half, whatever. And then I can put it up on the stand and use the outside shower. Or I'll be able to use this inside in the colder weather also for now. Uh, but eventually I'm gonna hook up, I got six liter hot water on demand. We'll have that inside and draining through plumbing. But the guy has to walk before he runs, right?